Oh, How do I look more? More importantly, you how do I look through the camera? Thank you. You were very tanned against the, the red couch. Red really brings you. Also very tanned relative to Lockwood. <laughs> Sorry about that. Who looks very white against the red? <laughs> Except your face, which is blending in perfectly with her own. You look a little bit flushed. He's just, he's just nervous. Okay. So we actually, oh, all jokes aside, we... But we've been recording for the last hour and a half, so... We're <laughs> good to go, never. Ah, can just start talking. Uh, Georgia, welcome. Thank you very much for taking some time. Obviously, it's uh, the end of a bit of a chapter for you with us here. Um, you, you came to us for a bit of a short-term... Um, COVID release, so to speak, and obviously COVID has dragged on for a little bit, um, but thankfully uh, is a, an official start date of next week for you starting at the Wanderers, so congratulations, great to be back out on the pitch with, uh, with a W League team, but I suppose what we want to chat about is a little bit around what brought you to us originally and, and why you, you wanted to come and, and start with us in the COVID period and what you were hoping to get out of it. Yeah, so for me it was mainly coming off the back of my major injury, so out for 18 months and I wanted to make sure when I came back to football that I was doing everything I could to make sure that I was fit and ready to go and, and to keep, be able to keep me on the pitch. Mm. And I knew that I couldn't do that on my own. I needed someone to, to help guide me through the gym exercises, the rehab with physio and everything like that. And when you guys came up, like your name came up and I did the research, it just seemed like a perfect fit. Um, yeah. And I've loved every minute of it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much oh, for it. No, it's <laughs> our pleasure. It's what we're here for. Um, it's, you mentioned physio as well. It's one of the things that we're, we're pretty passionate about of trying to have a, an all-encompassing program, making sure there is, you know, there's, there's a recovery side, there's the physio side, mental skills side, uh, strength and conditioning, which is probably the more obvious stuff for our athletes. How did you feel coming into a program like that that sort of had a number of things that you could utilise? I just felt like it was a really, like it's a really professional setup. Um, in the women's game, we still don't even have professional setups necessarily like this at all the clubs um, in the W League. So to be able to have that support, and that's a really big thing for me, is support around me on and off the field. Um, so to be able to have one place where I was going for my gym, where I was going for, you know, physio when I had a niggle, um, where I could do my recovery, where I was doing mental skills coaching, all of those aspects just helped build to what I could then do on the field. And coming back from a long-term injury, like having that support around me was just so important for my confidence and knowing that I was doing everything that I could do, ticking every box to make sure that when I came back, I was as ready as I could be. So you mentioned about the physio side of things and it's something that obviously I say a lot to a, a number of athletes that it's only sort of a, a matter of time until you start to get a niggle again or unfortunately maybe an injury pops up, we always hope there's nothing, uh, nothing major there. Um, with you as an athlete, like understanding that it is that, that ongoing maintenance and that ongoing service, like with, with the physios here and the integration of the program, did you, I suppose, feel that you had that all-encompassing professional hold? Because it's certainly something that, that we as a company strive to do is, is to push that professional sport to the amateur ranks and making sure we do treat our athletes you know, day to day, whether they're yeah, W League players pushing for, for professional contracts or they're you know, our, our third grade rugby players that are, are trying to get to the second grade or the first grade. It's that professional aspect that we really pride ourselves on. So we always like to ask how you guys felt from an athlete point of view, whether you felt that professional um, support. Yeah, definitely. I, I want to pick out what you said there about, you know, maintenance. That's a big thing, you know, as any kind of athlete is you're coming back from injury, but I know that it's not going to be my last injury. Hopefully it's my last serious injury, yeah. but I know that, you know, it's ongoing, making sure that my body's right. You're going to have niggles here and there. Um, and it is having that support from physio, from sports science, from, you know, your on-field coaches, all of it as a team that makes you be able to continue performing and to be on the field as much as you can. Um, here, I feel like 
it's being able to have your physios that talk to you guys down in the gym and make sure that your program is adapted for whatever you need to change, whatever tweaks you need to make and having that um, sort of easy communication pathway makes everything easier. If I as an athlete had to go to my physio and then come back to, to you guys and say this is what the physio said and trying to be that messenger, it makes it a lot more difficult, it makes my job I guess harder so as an athlete regardless of you know what level you're playing at, making those aspects of training as easy as possible, allowing you guys who who understand each other, um, who have a good working relationship with each other, being able to communicate, it makes everything work and it means that it increases the likelihood that I'm going to be on the pitch as much as I can. I can be out at training as much as I can because we're not missing anything. Yeah, yeah, I've found out. And I think as a, as a team sport athlete, one of the things we like to chat about around is the fact that you're used to training with your team day in, day out and then you're used to going to the gym with your team as well. Um, how do you feel training with one team and during the COVID period and then coming to AA and having a completely different team you know, on the gym floor and training there? Do you feel like it still worked for you? Did you feel the camaraderie still? How do you go with that? Yeah, I did. I, I really enjoyed you know, meeting new people here and, and training with people from different sports. I always play a little game with myself and look around the gym and try and figure out what sport everyone plays. But just meeting new faces and being around people who sort of have the same goals as you. You're aiming to, to achieve um, higher accolades in, in your sport. You're aiming to um, progress, whether that is from, you know, players moving up from Division 3 to Division 2. It's, it's that mentality of wanting to always improve, um, you know, as a part of like women's football at the moment in our in our winter comp, we didn't really this year we didn't really have a, a sort of structured gym program, um, so it was good to be able to come here and have have a diff, a different team, but you mm. still felt like you were in a team and yeah. in that team environment, you were held accountable. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I liked yeah, as I yeah. said, meeting new people and and being around you know different sports. Yeah, fantastic. And to finish off, if, if there's a, a young footballer watching now, umming and ahhing whether or not they need to add strength conditioning or physio performance or anything like that to their, their repertoire, um, what would be your advice to them? I think that it's like you, you need to. You know, I think that football is behind at the moment in terms of their attitude towards strength and conditioning, in their attitude towards lifting weights. Um, but I have seen so many benefits from it, both from a performance point of view, but also from an injury prevention point of view. Um, leading into my major injury that I had, I hadn't been going to the gym mm. for a, about six months. I slack, like it was, I was being a bit slack with that and got injured. And now I know that to be able to keep myself on the field um, and do everything I can to prevent injuries. I need to be in the gym. I need to make sure that I have that base strength. So I think that, well, I'm hoping that football starts to change its mentality mm. towards the need for strength and conditioning. But as a young athlete, do everything that you can to be better than the other people that you're competing against. Because if you're only doing what everyone else is doing, how are you going to become the best? Fantastic. Great advice. It's, uh, it's sad to see you go, but I suppose the only, uh, only positive is I will return to having the best tan in the gym. Um, so it's been a, a tough competition between you and me. I know a lot of people have uh, questioned whether I have a fake tan or a real tan and same with you, but it'll be good to go back to number one. So appreciate your time, my dear. And obviously it's been great to have you here and can't wait to watch you uh, run out on the field for the Wanderers um, and hopefully get you back in the off season and see how we go again. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. It's been so much fun. Great. Anytime. Easy.